WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. You've got the Dow coming off the low. Uh, the low this morning was in the uh, 30, whoa, 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 look at that, 31,516. It's up $100 from there. That's nothing. But what you really need to see is any kind of rally be sustained. Uh, going into the 1.30 to 2 o'clock period, you want to see the Dow, which is down 529, maybe only, only down 365, 325. That'll allow some kind of a, a breather to be uh, to to be to unfold as the market tries to anticipate maybe lower rates. We don't know because they are much lower right now. Uh, so maybe some easing there, but the other aspects that are very important to monitor. So we've got the Dow down. Uh, let's see, 549. You've got the S and P down uh, 61, 60. Yeah, 60 at 3859. Uh, coming off the low, you've got the QQQ, which actually has been holding much better than the others, down only two and a half at uh, minus at 294, down 0.84%, which uh, the S&P and the Dow are down one, about 1.4%. 1 so that's 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 a good sign because you also want to see the SMHs, the semiconductors. Well, they're still down sharply, down six. Um, well, you need to see the semiconductors come back to really help the market. Now let's go to the um, the gold. Gold has had a very big move up to the upside over the last couple of days. Even today, it's up 18 and 19, 29. And that's the whole financial aspect. If you look at the XLF, which is the um, S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, making a new low today down at 31.25, down $1.02. Now, what's interesting is that you've got the bonds, the TLT, uh, pulling back sharply. Uh, sorry, running up sharply. It's up three at 107.22, but it hasn't taken out the 108.90s, which is a very strong resistance. If it does, those yields are going to come down even further, and that really could help the market. So putting it, in, or if you're looking at crude oil, just got smashed to the downside. Oh, my. It's even worse. It's down 381 right now at 67.54. And that's talking about international, uh, the economy internationally, I think. All right. So with that said, I don't believe Steve Rhodes is able to do the show right now. Um, so, but after that, you've got uh, programming going all the way through to Tom O'Brien wrapping it up. Don't forget, we started nine o'clock with Tommy O'Brien with the market morning market kickoff, fabulous show. And uh, see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day and good luck with your trading.